All of the co-authors of Toward a Life-Centered Economy are well grounded. Our lead co-author, John, worked in the international metals business. Judith worked as a teacher. And Paul has a long career in non-profits and higher ed. I, I'm a you know business scientist, uh, quality assurance guy that spent most of my life in Africa. And what we did um, with, with our group is we sat down Quakers spend a lot of time saying nothing, believe it or not, right? And we think a lot of information comes from not so much meditation, but pausing the noise of the world to think a bit differently. The life-centered economy basically says life, me. Life then becomes us, which is my family. Life then becomes people that are around me, you know. Um, you look at your calendar and you say, well, you know, I'd really like to go and walk somebody, you know, help somebody this week, but I can't because I'm too busy. And the answer is in the life-centered economy, you turn around and say, well, wait a minute. I could fill my time with this, which makes money, or I could fill my time with something that will accumulate money, but makes me exceptionally happy. And the life-centered economy basically says start with yourself because unless you start with yourself, you cannot help other people. This whole purpose of things, this whole purpose of dollars does nothing for your soul, does nothing for your sense of happiness. If you take any one chapter from the book, start anywhere and you say, so what, what, what does that really mean to me? And you go doodle, you look around, because the point of this one is if you get 1% of this book, then the second percentage will come along and talk to you. You're probably hungry because otherwise you wouldn't have picked this book up. Read it through if you want, or take one page and really understand it. And if it's done that, it's done its job. In this book, you'll learn about how the life-centered economy offers a positive alternative to the current money-centered economy and specific ways to integrate the life-centered economy into your everyday life.